Hello, everyone. Hello, Cecile. Hello, Lauren. <laughs> hello, Barbara. So, hello. <laughs> Welcome for another live with one of our guest teachers. teachers. The last one. <laughs> um, hello, Suzanne. <laughs> hello. So just give some more minutes so everyone can be notified and join this live. And uh, for some of our um, people inside our Facebook group can be here and see because I send them a message there telling that it's going to be only on Instagram. <laughs> Alas, Silvia. So, um, as I was telling, Today we are having with us Robin Marie. Uh, she will be our hello Mary. <laughs> she will be our oh Robin Marie is already here. <laughs> hello Robin. I will ask for you to join us in a minute. Okay. Uh, Robin Marie is our next guest teacher after these two days with me again, and I'm super excited to um, be with her here uh, talking about. Um, flowers, art, her lesson, uh, her work, it is amazing. Um, so I think I'm going to call for Robin Marie here with us. <laughs> so, okay, Robin, prepare yourself. Um, Robin Marie. Let me see. Hello. Hello. Welcome. It's good to see you again. It's been so long. Yeah, it's so good to see you too. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Of course, and it's beautiful. early afternoon here. It's evening there. So. But we have lots of sun yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, how are things going with you? And with yeah. Maker Statue, lots of work. Yes, oh. yes. I'm I'm getting ready to have a challenge next week. I'll tease that a little bit. So the details, um, the registration for that opens next week. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I've been working on the Ooh. videos and everything for that. So, yeah. So amazing. So, yeah. okay. We'll talk about that a little bit okay, at sure. the end if you want. Sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, people is are entering a uh, hello from chicago mary is, is saying and uh, saying hello uh, robin yes hey i saw ruth ray <laughs> come in i'm trying to look and see the the names of everyone the name, that's coming in. yeah, yeah. <laughs> why well, i'm making it here a mess okay <laughs> <laughs> so um let's get started i think okay. mm -hmm. uh talking a little bit about who is robin marie I think everyone knows Robin Marie, but <laughs> well, maybe not. Yeah, no. And let me just say too, thank you so much for asking and inviting me to be a part of Flowers Magic. I was really excited um, when you asked me to be a part of it. I have to say, I was afraid I was, that you were not saying yes. No, no. And you know, I was able to. I, ha I was able to do it, and I was thrilled to help you. I, I feel like. Um, I just, I have been so happy and so thrilled to see your growth and your blossoming, if that's the word, I'll use that over the years since we started working together way back when. And it just, it does yeah. my heart good. It makes me feel very happy to see so much success for you because I wanted thank it so you. much and I'm just, yeah. So thank you so much for inviting and, me. And the big part is for your guy, from your guidance, your knowledge. <laughs> and, uh, and we have, I thought on that too, because, uh, probably on September, we have to schedule here on Instagram a live talking about my experience on Makers Tech You and your guidance and importance that, uh, so I think uh, it's in important here on my account too. <laughs> I, would love, I would love that. I would love that. So, so it's yeah. an honor to, to have you here on Flowers Magic that I wanted. I had these two editions last year and the one before, but I wanted to give more people to have more people to to explore in different ways flowers so uh, i thought on asking uh, 
a bunch of them. So <laughs> you were on my, my list and I was thrilled when you said yes. <laughs> well, thank you again so, for asking me. It was, it was a lot of fun you. to be a part of it. Yeah. And your, your lesson will be released in two days, in okay. one day, because for me, the, this one is already a god. Right. <laughs> so, but we are going in a minute to your lesson. So I wanted to, um, to know a little bit about you. Where do you yeah. live? What do you do? Sure, what, sure. Yeah, how is sure. your background to, to come here? Because I already know since 2014. And... Uh, <laughs> yeah, my my journey goes a lot further back than that. And yeah, I won't bore the audience with all of it. But, um, you know, I've always been a creative. I think a lot of us have, you know, we've dabbled in things that were creative in some way. And back when I just, you know, when was ready to go to college, I was told you can't make a living being an artist, you need to pick something that you can make a living at. Yeah. And back then, the computers, the home computer, as we call, we don't even call it that now, was really just the Apple was just kind of on the market. Exactly. It was in the early, like the mid eighties. And so I was like, okay, I'll go into computer science and I'll do something techie. And, you know, I just wasn't really what I wanted. And so long story short, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. My life took a lot of different turns. And then I ended up deciding when I became more familiar with like mixed media and everything, I was like, oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. I want to do this forever. And so yeah. I started <laughs> deciding, all right, it was like 2004, maybe I started a stamp company, a rubber stamp company. I don't have that now, but I had it then. And I had to discover and figure out how to do a lot of the tech things Everything. myself. Because back then we didn't have Shopify and Instagram. We had Facebook, I think, but it was more find your high school friends kind of thing. And so I really had to figure out a lot on my own and the tools were not there and you had to kind of figure out. And I, over the years had to evolve and say, oh, all right, well, there's a better way to do this and a better way to do that. And how do I do this? And so it was weird that my beginning of wanting to do art and then told you kind of need to do tech really came full circle. And now I do both. Combine. <laughs> right. Because my, I was finding, um, you know, in creating and teaching internationally and within the United States, classes, how much I love to teach. I love teaching. And I do mostly mixed media, um, art journaling. I kind of dabble in a lot of things. I think a lot of us that are like that, there's so many yeah, things creative. we enjoy. We want to do a lot of different things, right? And so I was being asked by a lot of friends, how do you do this? And how do you do this tech thing? And can you help me with that? And so I realized that I was good at that too. So how could I help other artists and creatives to be able to overcome that obstacle because they want to film videos and they want to share and they want to do challenges and courses and things. And, but and this is a big obstacle, yeah, a, a but, giant exactly. wall. Yeah. And see, to me, it's not, it's, a, it's not an <laughs> obstacle and I love it. So I was like, well, maybe I could teach that too. And since I am a creative, I'm an artist, I can speak to other creators in a yes. way that makes that sense for them. That is a great thing. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, you were one that I helped very early on. And, you know, it's being able to do that makes me so happy because I can see the growth and the change and what doors that opens up to yeah. whether you want to have sure. it as a business or not. I mean, it doesn't matter if you are a creative artist and you want to be on a design team, you want to be able to create things for a product line but you don't know how to record videos. You don't know how to edit videos. Those are skills you need to know whether you yeah. have a business or not. So I've married my love of the art, which I still do plenty of, I still teach with being able to teach others how to leverage their own art and get it out there online. So I kind of have a couple facets to my business and what I do. So, and I love and both sides it, of it. Yeah, it is amazing how you blend all together and you help others on the tech, but you still continue to create and show mm -hmm. up and share. It is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and about your creative process, now, uh, now for going for the mixed sure. media and our journaling, uh, how are the, the, your big source of inspiration? Where do you go to create uh, yeah. on your studio? 
Yeah, I have I have a small room in my house, so I'm able to um, that. You have a room, the, okay? Years ago, I you was have a room to, because I had a dining room <laughs> table for years, and then eventually we were able to kind of create a small room, which is great. Um, and so I'm able to kind of keep things in one place before you know. But you can start anywhere. I started on the dining room table, so you don't have to have a dedicated yeah. room. And um, I will oftentimes have things hanging, or I'll get my old journals out and I'll look through them. Um, and I think the thing is, is that the more you're creating and the more that you're doing and you're just going through the motions and your, your mind is kind of focused on that. It's amazing what other ideas oh, it generates. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it, that's not revolutionary. We as creatives know that we know that if we are creating and doing, and then I think it's also being willing to really say, what if, what if I do that? What if I do that? What Explore. if I do this? What happens if I put paper in the oven and bake it? What does that look like? You know, I mean, it's like <laughs> those little things that you're sort of being willing to kind of branch out of what you think is the way you're supposed to do things and try it differently. Like for instance, I like to use soft pastels with water. That's not the way that you traditionally use soft pastels, yes, yes. but I love using it with water because for me, it looks like a chalky watercolor rather than just a yeah. soft pastel that's kind of you know, flaky and, and powdery. And then yet it looks a little different than a watercolor. So it's sort of like that idea of like, well, what if I try that? And what if I try this? So I think it's just being willing to be of that mindset, probably a lot like when we were kids, when we didn't care. We we're just like, Exploring. whatever, I'm going to do it. There is no rules. What's I'm going to do what I want. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And I was, I uh, was thinking on, um, uh, Okay, exploring is fantastic uh, and open the mind to, to see the little things. And how about practice? Continue, continue. Because I'm in the, air, the last live I did with Joanna, we talked about your 100 day projects. Oh, yes. Yes. I think you have the fourth year. Actually, so this, I year think... was, this year is my sixth. sixth year. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So I think you it probably you see uh, all tremendous evolution when yep. you do that commitment. Sure. And you don't have to commit to a hundred day project to have that. I mean, I, for me, if I have a focus, this is just how I, I am. If I have a focus and I think part of it is because I get very distracted with things. I think a lot of us creatives are sort of like that. It's like, Ooh, that looks like fun. Ooh, that looks like fun. Ooh. And so I have to focus. <laughs> So I think the 100 day project each year for me has allowed me to choose something, be flexible with it, and then, but be committed to like, I'm going to do this. That's my goal. And I'm going to show up, whether it's showing up my, for this year, I said, I'm going to show up to create 100 pieces, whether for three or four days, I randomly painted and then maybe on the next day, I cut things up and collaged, and then I got to the next step. It wasn't like I sat down and completed one thing every day. I've done that before on the 100 Day Project, but this one was different for me. And so I painted, and I painted in different ways, and I explored different things, and it really kind of opened up. I could see the evolution really fast, really quickly as I started working through it, and I was like, oh. And then it just kept changing and going, and that's because I did it every day in some capacity yeah. and that practice is so true you know and i think for me and i don't know how other creatives feel but i like super immediate gratification like i want to see myself <laughs> have success the first time i try something well that's not that's <laughs> not reality you can't do that you know it's like i want to be a great portrait sketcher the first time I put the pencil to the paper, that's not going to happen. No, it's so I have to be willing <laughs> to put in the work and the time to, you know, to be able to get better. To be and to, exactly. Exactly. Oh, amazing. <laughs> and you have there some of your sketches or some of your journals to yes. share a little yeah, I bit? Do. I do. And we were talking a little bit about process too, because one of the things I've done for forever, for many years is that I'm, I'm a firm believer in repurposing or upcycling, if you will, the work that you've made. Now, I no longer have product lines, but I used to have product lines created from my art. And I scan everything. Like every 100 day project piece has been scanned and I plan on making and doing something with it. But a lot of times what I'll do is I'll print those out and reuse those papers in my own work, in my own collage, because 
that's my work. So it makes sense. That idea you know, is amazing. I, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I have some papers here, but um, these are watercolors. And I, I chose these because they're floral to go with our theme. Um, and one of these I think is one of the downloads in the class. But so what I did was I created these and then I scanned them and then I create papers from them. Wow. And so I'm able to cut out. I was images. working with that one today. I think that's the one. I think that's the one. That's and the then, one. <laughs> yeah. And then I do use Photoshop for this, to the design, so that I can actually, if I need to create like a repeat pattern or fill something in, I can do that. But these were And that all... one is the original. Uh, the original? It is. Oh, no. But you no create reason. on big paper. Yeah, these were, these were, some of these were scanned a little larger, but most of the time I'm working on nine by 12. But I don't have those because they, they ended up being cut up and then they were, the originals were then used in smaller pieces with stuff sewn on them to make like other yeah. art. So, but I scan them first so that I don't lose out on, you know, the benefit of having, and then this is kind of a different one. This again was done and with, again and again. with a lot of layers and things in this one. So, um, yeah. So I wanted to show those because that's another aspect of probably the tech side of being creative that I love so much is scanning my work and then using it to create other, you know, things or and just you create them out. layers. Yeah. Uh, you create layers on the paper, but then you create layers exactly. again on Photoshop. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, digital, digital art is art. And digital and I, art. I yeah. So I've it done is. that. Yeah. So, but I, I do, I have, um, I mean, I have, I, I love to make my own journals. This one's kind of popular. A lot of people know DJ. DJ is my dictionary journal that is full and it's just, I just, it's not revolutionary. Just took a book and put new pages in it. Um, but it's just, you know, I'll, I just work like this is probably another one of the floral pieces that was in um, one of the bigger collages that I did or bigger pieces. And then I've been working a lot more in these, um, these little smaller books because they're just super fun and easy to work in. So I've been working a lot in those and you'll see a lot of the floral. This was from one of the papers, but then I added it in and embellished it with more, you know, things. So, yeah. So your process is mainly you one day you create on a paper, several papers are at once, you create marks, mm -hmm. and then you create those watercolors, yeah. and then you scan, Yeah. and then your most fun is to then create compositions of yeah. collage. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. much how I work. I know that other artists and creatives probably they set about with either a canvas or a paper and they start to finish like that's mm -hmm. that's not how I work and and I don't seem to work very well that way it's to me it's kind of restrictive and so I think it's it's lots of painting of papers lots of layers scanning the parts in that I love and then cutting those parts up and and a lot of it's identifying maybe areas and I did this a lot with the 100 day project where um I think I'm... I'm you have some of those panels on yeah, your... Yeah, I was looking to see if I had one near... They're across the room. I'll grab it in a second. Where um, then I would identify from that huge piece an area I loved. And then I would take that area and expand on that. And then go, okay, now I'm going to work on that part and make it... Be you know, Because the whole piece isn't something I'm going to love. But then I'll narrow it down to these smaller bits and go, oh, I love Little that. Pieces, what, yeah. what can I do with that part? And, and then you create I, another thing completely exactly, different. And exactly, you scan it again exactly. and you yep. have another piece to work in. Yeah, exactly. It's, and then uh, that gets scanned. Sustaining then, itself. Yeah. And then I'll scan that and then print that out. Maybe layer it with two or three pieces that I made and print that out. And then I just, I have so much inspiration that comes from my own stuff that I created. Right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. the little parts and yeah. when we see the big piece we see one thing and when you look right. to little parts you see exactly uh, exactly and sometimes it's only that that we need to start something right exactly yeah yeah uh, so you want to go to yes go Pop yeah up. yeah <laughs> i'm going to see some of your and i see something here a comment Oh, I know. It's hard to keep up with the comments. <laughs> Jude, so I, Jude, I gotta... Jude is saying, I expect things to go as my mind imagined is the first time. But sometimes, almost the time is not. Exactly. <laughs> it's not go it's that like, way. No, it needs to work perfectly the first time I do it. Where are they? I think well, I've got two right here. So um, 
actually I sold a bunch of them. They're in my shop, so I don't even have them back here. But um, so here, but I you did, scanned them. I the yeah, all these have been scanned. These are two of the book covers that I did. The book cover because that was part of the hundred day project. Was then I took them and I adhere them to just it's an old book cover. Book and then, but this started out as a larger part of a bigger piece. Then it was cut down the part that I loved. And then I ended up doing some more collage and then just finishing bits to it. Yeah, I think That's just how I work. I work that way. It, it makes sense to my brain. And so like this one, this oh, was part that. of the overall oh. big collage that I painted and painted. And then this, I do a lot of black and whites. I do a ton of just random black and whites with handmade brushes and markers and paint. So I have those big sheets as well. And so I, I love the contrast of black and whites, just one of my favorites. And so then I joined those together and then I took pieces from another piece that I painted to create the, um, the composition. Oh my yeah. gosh, my buddy, what? my buddy Pranav is in here. I'm so excited. Uh, hey buddy. I see. <laughs> How exciting, he's on my video anyway. I'm sorry. He's, 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 he's my, he's, I'm pre he's precious. Too. He is your yeah, uh, son precious. from the heart. So, I know. Yeah. So there's another one that, um, that I did. So it, it kind of shows the cool thing about it though, is, is that I just don't throw away very much because so many of those, the bigger pieces work great. And then as you get down to those smaller parts, the little you piece cut pieces this. off of the part that you chose. It's like when I, when I have that bigger piece and then I narrow down what I want to use, I, I'll cut parts of it off and then I see those bits and I'm like, oh, that's great. I can use that for something else. They are so. awesome to another, exactly, to another thing. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so it's just, a, it just kind of like, oh, that'll lead to that and then that leads to that. So, yeah, so that's, interesting that's kind of my process. It, yeah, yeah the, the creative process for each one of us is different and yours is very particular and very yours. And so, yeah, and I mean, and it's not like I haven't tried to just sit down on with a canvas and go, I'm going to paint today on this canvas. I, I just can't do it. I, yeah, I was asking you, are you, you, you tried already to paint on a canvas? It's not, it just doesn't it's work weird. for me. I try, I want to, yeah, for me. but I love paper. I love paper. paper and the, the cheaper sketchbook paper is what I love because it gets wrinkled and crinkly and the, the paints and the watercolors and the inks take differently to it. They just absorb differently. And then just, you know, being able to cut those up because I feel restricted for me. This is just how I work when I've got that canvas. And then it's like, that's all there is. I can't just cut up the pieces of it. <laughs> that's what I have, you know? So we yeah, all have that process. Thing. All of our creative processes are different. So it's what works for you. Yeah. So awesome. Yep. Yeah. And on the lesson, where are you going to do something similar to this? Um, actually, I'm I'm work. I'm doing a journal. We're doing a journal page, a, a journal spread. A so, journal and spread. I, yep. Yep. And I've taken one of the. Um, I think it was. I think it was this one. I think is the one I use as part. Yes, of it. it is. So this is an example of me taking my own work and my own art to then pull it into other things. So it's sort of a demonstration of using other parts and other bits to create a journal page, which is not much different than if you, you could do the very same thing on a canvas. So it's not necessarily has to be in a journal. It could be on a book cover. On a, be, uh, a bigger any paper. Any substrate, oh. exactly. It could be oh. any substrate, yeah. But I'm using a journal to do mine, so. Yeah. yeah, I was working on my page inspired on your lesson because I have it <laughs> on front. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I created with the, um, both the, the, the free um, digital paper and the other one. So I'm going to share. I inspire on you. I, had, I created this one today. Yeah. And, and this one. Oh, wow. Yes, I can, I can see the influence. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Your papers are here. So but, it's a lot of fun. Yours. But, it, but it's it, yours, though. It still and it's your... not easy, you know. You have your process so <laughs> yeah. well defined. Mm -hmm. It seems at first it is easy, but it's not. <laughs> because... <laughs> yeah. because putting all together and... Um, choosing the the different parts that will go together uh, yeah, yeah i don't know 
we yeah. are a stitch to an, uh, our own process. So yeah. creating influences by other is not easy, but I love this one. Yeah. I love this I, one. You did a great <laughs> job. It, and I, you know what I love about it too? Cause my style is, is, has a little bit of grunginess to it as well is that you've mm -hmm. captured that in there. And I love that. And you're right. Yeah, now, this we this is a, um, an old magazine. So it's like a photo, but it's, yeah. but it's a page on magazine that was printed also with flowers. So it's really grungy and yeah. uh, it's like faded and old yeah. and fit your papers yeah. fit here. But it's part of that is one of the things I love too, is that complement of the dark, the black or whatever, and then those bright colors. I just, colors. the contrast, I just love that. Um, I was going to say too, one of the things, because the video had to be a certain like length, like we were told, this is your parameter. I didn't create that page in 10 minutes. Like I cut out the parts of me thinking and putting this <laughs> down and going, oh, what about that? What about that? Hey, Susie. Um, I did that. So, um, but that part's cut out. But what like. I do, and I will say this, and, and it, I, I can't remember if I left that part in, but what I like to do, because I love collage, obviously, is I will start looking through my papers and I have tons and I'll just start pulling some things out. So maybe it would be like, you know, pulling out this and then looking at it and going through the stash and just pulling out things that speak to me and say, Ooh, I like that. That looks good. Ooh, that'll go good with that. And I just get a pile and then I limit myself to kind of that pile. It's usually that a pile. pile. And, you, and then I and you go to that. the, um, yeah. the color read ones, the black and white yes. and the vintage and old. Yes. Yes. So I have a little bit of all that because I love that. I love having all of that available together. And then I kind of start working and then, but then it's not like I have this humongous pile of papers and I'm just kind of getting, ah, it's too much. It's too stressful. Yes. But if I kind of narrow that down. So, and I did that in preparation for my lesson in the journal so that I, you know, was able to kind of not be, oh, you know, overwhelmed with so before. many but things. But we edited a lot of that out. So know that I didn't <laughs> whip that out in 10 minutes. I mean, I had to edit. Yeah, it's out. not easy, but, yeah. but it's a, a very fun and yeah. uh, <laughs> process to, to do. Yeah. Create yeah. a collage composition. It's yeah. very interesting. Yes. Now, Francesca, there was a question about the paper, if it can be downloaded so they can print it before my lesson, or I don't know what it's, what you're doing in the classroom. Like if that PDF uh, is available best, first or not. So Beth is asking that. Yeah. Uh, I normally, uh, the, um, the PDF is available only on the day okay. of the lessons, but we have two days to work on your lesson. Okay. So I think it's, um, okay. it's fine. Okay. So tomorrow okay, you'll we'll have access to that. And then if not tomorrow, in, tomorrow, tomorrow, uh, no, mo uh, next Sunday? tomorrow, tomorrow, Sunday. Saturday. Yeah. Or Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Yeah. And then if you're in the VIP, there's another one that the VIPs get. I don't know which one. I I, I think I actually. You on the VIP, you have these ones that have the. Oh, those were two those. that I actually custom made just for the project. Yeah, I did two. <laughs> so for those of you that are in the VIP, you'll see the, those are like scans of layered parts and you know what those are from i think those are i think those are from the 100 day project pieces that i did i think really I pulled from and there. another I one that is pieces. very beautiful uh, that has a little bit of um a the, tea bag yeah with I think, letters pink it's gorgeous <laughs> oh thank you glad you liked it yeah, <laughs> yeah the, i work with them and it, they are really beautiful love it thank you <laughs> So you never have uh, the fear of a blank page because you always have those papers to play around. Well, and here's the thing. Well, I'm not saying I don't because there's times when, you know, you'll open up that. But but because I make a lot of my journals with found papers and painted papers, there's always kind of, you know, like, for instance, this one, I'll show you like this one. This is this is the these are the papers that are in it already but, so, they're not, so they're not really blank i mean it's like a junk journal so it's not really blank to start but the the thing is is even if i want to do that and i'm kind of like i don't know what to start i have so many of those papers i can cut a piece of from in one that's one. sort of painted all the way maybe it's in the middle put that down and there's a start and the best ones for me are the ones that are what i call the under paper the paper that's on your art oh, table yeah 
because I use that sketchbook paper on that. And so then I can just cut a piece out of that and go, I'm saving that. That's perfect for the next project. And those are perfect because you, you don't, didn't thought on uh -uh. And those are a paint. Ones. Yes. We always see oh, so beautiful. Yeah, those are luscious. You, yeah. Yeah, they are. The most, um, unthought about, I don't know if the word exists, but <laughs> yeah, because they're not, you didn't plan it. You just wiped you off your plan it, and you just... did some marks and yeah. Yeah. So those are always good ones. Yep. Yep. And favorite supplies. Oh, wow. Uh, soft pastels. Yeah, yeah I do love soft <laughs> pastels. Um, yeah, you know, I would say, uh definitely those and i love the oil pastels but not the water soluble oil pastels i've been using a lot of those um and then um definitely my cheap sketchbook paper and i do kind of there's several papers that i really do like um the sketchbook paper i use it's a it's not it's not a thick one it's kind of thin and then um the true ray construction paper is another one i like and i like newsprint but lately I've been true using ray them. and also what i don't know what is that which one? uh the true ray it's a it's, uh, it's a construction paper it's a brand of construction paper and it's just okay. this really great weight and it takes the paint really well um but it doesn't come in really big sheets like the sketchbook paper i buy the ginormous pads for that um they're like um let's see i can tell you what the size is they're they're 18 by 24 so they're really really big um and then, uh, what else? Oh my gosh, just so, oh, I'll tell you one thing I've discovered lately. I'm not using it in my lesson, but it's uh, something I've discovered. It's these, um, they're called uh, paint shaper, I think. It's a silicone, it's made uh, of silicone. Brush, and it's it, not it's, a brush, but, but it's, it? Yeah, but it's silicone and it's flat. So it's not a brush mm -hmm. and it just- For it marks. Moves, it moves the paint. So like mm -hmm. on this, but it depends on what you're using. It's great on canvas because it doesn't absorb, but on paper, when I put like maybe even acrylic paint down and then I spray it with some water and then I kind of move this around, it just gives it this, uh, it's just so yummy. So <laughs> Michelle is saying, I love them. <laughs> Michelle. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So she, yeah. And you so, were using on the lesson one thing that I didn't know, a, a stick. A lip, it seems like a lipstick, uh, uh, white, very creamy. What was that? Oh, yeah. Just... Yep. 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 So I think this is what you mean. These are this here. It's a tempera. Yes. It's a tempera. A paint tempera. Stick. Yeah. It's a paint stick and they come in, uh, they come in a ton of different colors. I just have them in this like little tray, mm, but they are that. They dry. They come in all kinds of colors they dry really fast. So it's great to get like a, it's a paint stick. It's a child's paint stick. So, you know, kids toys, it was kids toys. like you were putting glue on the paper, but then it's a, a very white. Yep. Yep. So the Tempera. white and black, I use a lot in that one. So, cause it, it's acrylic, like, and then it's, it's not water soluble and it dries really fast. It dries so fast. It's, yeah. It's great to experiment with and they're not expensive. I have to check that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, my oh, dear, Jeff. tell us. Ah, yeah, there's do a bunch of gelatos. I, I don't think I've ever tried gelatos. Um, I think those I are don't... sticks too, right? I think they're yes, probably they are. similar. Um, no, I, I don't have any. So, if I have tried them, it was probably a borrowed or maybe use it at a, a class or something. But so they may be similar to this, but I don't know how fast those dry. So maybe she can tell us if those are fast drying or not, but I have not tried those. I never but, used gelatos too, so I don't know. Yeah. Beth is yeah. saying, yes, they are sticks. Okay. I know okay. they are sticks, but I don't know. I don't know uh, how fast I, they, they are. Or, yeah, or what that part is, yeah. Uh, I know that they are uh, like lipstick and creamy. So I thought, um, uh, okay. someone is... Someone is asking if this is uh, will be available on YouTube later. I don't know if this if <laughs> Tech Queen, please tell us if we can uh, put this video on YouTube. I, can I think put the no. Video on YouTube, that's not yeah. a problem. Sure, if, with with so, Francesca's approval and permission, I will be glad to put this on in, on YouTube. Sure. Yeah, and so you tell me, and I put also because uh, Kathleen is asking if it's, yeah. it will be available on YouTube. Sure. Um, yeah. 
Ah, Michelle is saying that gelatos are water soluble. Oh, nice. Okay, so that is different. Yes. Um, these tempuras are not water soluble, but I like working with both, especially I love more so working with water soluble because then things kind of blend the, and yeah. So mm -hmm. yes. cool. Well, I'll have to try those sometime. I know they're art supply. I need to buy. <laughs> I never used to. Uh, Judy saying gelatos are like glue stick. I think they are water soluble. Yes, they are. Uh, yes, gelatos are sticks. Oh. Uh, fairly fast. Okay. So, if anyone want to ask something uh, to Robin Marie, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And Robin, can you tell us a little bit what you are uh, preparing for us in August? Yes. Just in yes. Quite a few things, but the Ooh. most immediate thing is, and I'll just tease it out. Um, it's going to be um, a free challenge. It's coming up next week. And I don't want to say too much because I'm still trying to put yes. the fine touches on it. But um, what I want to say is that, I mean, I do, and I did talk about this earlier, is about the technology side of things. And there's been a lot of things going on on Instagram, lots of changes. Um, yeah. the, the video, uh, the push for more video. Hey, I'm just like, I love and miss the old days when it was predominantly great, beautiful, inspiring photos. photos but the reality yeah. is, is that, you know, things change and it's hard to embrace that. And looking at it from the perspective of how can I, oh, my mom just joined. Hey mom. <laughs> <laughs> how cool is that? I love it. Anyway, sorry. I'm sorry. My mom just popped up. So um, anyway, the idea that, um, how can we use video specifically reels to enhance our offering, enhance our art, show our art in a way that is appealing much like we did with videos or with photos. So I'm, I'm working on something that's going to help that, um, help artists and creatives to oh. where they can be better equipped to understand how to make them and do them in a way that would be ones that you would want to watch and really just trying to see the positive hey. in this rather than the negative of how can this really benefit either our business or our online following and growing our community because they're not going anywhere. So, you know, it's like, how can that we- That is very important. Yes, because, like, oh, and we... do not, uh, and uh, creating, but not taking all the time of all exactly. the day, because you are the theme that we have to create real on this and that and that and the... Right. Okay, well, how to, I mean, exactly. to, how to have that? a plan. Yep. With one thing, we can do several of them because, right. oh, I think, so yeah, important. and I think too, it's developing kind of a system that works and figuring out what that is for you. And so anyway, I'm going to be trying to help. <laughs> so watch no, next it's... week on my stories and on my account on Tuesday, and there'll be more information. And I'm just hoping that I can help inspire artists and creatives to not be so um, ugh, about the reels and maybe be able to just say, okay. I can do this, right? Just like in Makers Tech U, people, members come in and they're like, I can't do these things, but yeah, they end up Yeah, that's the, the real, the good thing. And then they because, do, right? Yeah. 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 Um, we were, at, were asked about the Vero. I signed up for it because it's going to be- What free. is that, Vero? It's a, it's a social media platform that- Another um, one? Yeah, it's been around for a while though. It's been around since 2018, I think, but it just didn't really? Really, it didn't really take off. But they're saying though that it's free right now and then they're going to actually cuz it's sponsor free, there's no ads. But then in order to pay for that to run the app, they're saying eventually they'll charge for it. So I was like, I'm going to get on it now so that just in case um and I always like checking out the new things just to see, you know, the tech part of it. It's like, what do I think? I there are some things I really like about it. It's not exactly like Instagram. It's different. But um, so I've just been kind of, I haven't really had a time to get in there and dig around and play with it. I did set up an account and, you know, followed a few people and I've kind of gone in a couple times to look at it, but um, I can't really give a full blown opinion because I haven't used it enough to say, here's what I think. Um, I'm not leaving Instagram. No. Um, I'm just trying to find ways to better use Instagram and do it in a way that doesn't feel stressful because it can be, you know, if you're Yes, He's overwhelmed with it. So anyway, uh, so watch for announcement next week on some free training that's coming. So yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any more question? Mm. 
Um, hey, Tracy. I missed all the photos, Tracy's too. Tracy's a member of Makers Tech U. <laughs> So awesome. Yeah, yeah I'm, and I'm the, the great in, inside. Uh, well, okay, we are talking about maker section, but never mind because it is amazing. So, <laughs> and Maureen, Maureen's a member too. <laughs> we have because uh, uh, it's, uh, um, you know, it, it's really, really important and a milestone on our path to grow. For me, it was, and I'm there since the beginning. And I need I need to to do to go for for a ton of lessons that I missed this this past few months with the schoolwork. So I know that I have lots of things to catch up um, and to put on my 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 Instagram better and my my Squarespace site and everything. But I I feel safe and secure and protected that I can reach if I have any stress. So that is. Um, well, but a big that's, change. that's part of being a member is that you have yeah. access to me. I say I'm your creative tech team so that when you do need help, I'm there and available, but I'm equipping you to be able to learn how to do these things yourself so that when you're ready to make changes to your website or you're ready to, you know, launch your course and your challenge that you've been doing now that you know how to do those things and you don't have to find somebody to help you. You don't have to spend hours on Google trying to figure things out. And if you do get stuck and you need help, I'm there to yeah. either figure out a resolution. We have a, a member who um, she's in another country. So there's things that have kind of come up and happened where I've had to get creative about finding solutions and helping her. So it's just, it's just a labor of love. I, I, it just, it thrills me. and makes me so happy. Like I said, to see the successes you know, to see a member launch their website and go, I never thought I could do this. Oh, I did it yes. and I'm happy. I remember so well when I launched mine and already I see what I have there and I wanted again to uh, make a re uh, makeover on yeah. that. Yeah. But I remember all the steps and all the things that I was always asking um, to you. But um but the thing that, that you were saying that I'm able to do is very important for me. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, the other day I, I enrolled in the class about bookkeeping and finances. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> but we have to. <laughs> yeah. And someone, a, a friend was saying to me, but why don't you give that to um, a person that cares that for you? But, but I have to know because otherwise I, I don't even know what questions right. uh, I have to ask in order right. to get things resolved. Because, yeah. So for me, it's very important. I know I can uh, in, the, uh, in front, I can give to others to, to resolve right. some problems for me, but I need to know right. uh, my path and uh, do the thing. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Yes. Well, and, and that's it, and that's the beauty too of the the membership is that I'm able. You don't always know the questions to ask, even if you wanted to find the answers online. You don't know what to ask. You don't know what to type. Yeah, in. You don't know. And so by breaking things down and saying just focus on this, I've got you covered. Just follow this, and you'll get there. You don't have to worry about being distracted by trying to figure it out and find your way. I've eliminated Completely. all that because I've already been there. So it's like, just focus. And the path is faster. Yeah. It's shorter. Exactly. <laughs> and the headaches too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. So, uh... I haven't seen any other questions come in. So, no. no. So any last question, any last words about our flowers magic and um, your well, work? I wish I had access to the flowers that you have access to. I'm just like, where on earth? I mean, I just don't live somewhere where we have a lot of those beautiful flowers everywhere. And I'm just like, I'm so jealous. With why Florida is, is so hot that there are no, really? It, there's things that just don't grow here. I mean, there's just, I don't have a garden. I don't even know where I would go to find those except for the, the grocery store. And I mean, they have some, but I mean, that's really? where you go to get flowers. I mean, I could go to like Home Depot or Lowe's and look in the garden <laughs> store and buy up some marigolds, but it's just some of those flowers. I mean, I think there are parts of the country where it's not so hot that things will grow yeah, yeah. that they just for don't. Sure. Yeah. So yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of jealous. 
this here we have a lot of hot and but the flowers but because we had so much water in the garden Mm. not it's not a uh, a garden with the grass it's a garden of vegetables <laughs> otherwise i would not <laughs> wasting water on it it's a garden of vegetables uh -huh. but because i want the bees and the bugs all around right i always add lots and lots of flowers and yes mm. i have <gasps> it's <laughs> trader joe's yes trader and joe's has the best flowers but it's over an hour for me to get there so it's like oh yeah. And I mean, and I just, I don't have a green thumb, seriously. I'm having trouble with the house plants. Like, so it's like, I, I wouldn't do well with a garden, but yeah. So, but anyway. And Cecilia's saying, check out a local greenhouse, their compost pile. Cecilia went to a florist and asked for it because on a florist, they always have lots of petals and uh, bloomings that are fading and they that's will not sell. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. And so like the, like the they have off. probably yeah. that's a, a basket idea. of flowers to give you so you can print on your papers. Yeah, no, that's a great idea. Um, that's a great idea. We do have to still shared, uh, shared uh, some, some um, pictures mm -hmm. of the leftovers that mm -hmm. she, uh, she asked on a, yeah. a greenhouse. Yeah, that's a great idea. I'd have to look into that. Yeah, because that would be, that'd be perfect. I mean, they're going to have things that are cutoffs. And like you said, that stuff, I worked at a florist in college. So the floor was always full of that stuff. So why not? So yeah, And they have always things to go to waste. Yeah, that's and, a great suggestion. And when you explain for what it is, they will be oh. really okay. So. Yeah, yeah. I'll come sweep <laughs> your floor. And take everything off of it for you. So yeah. just let me take the bag, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kim is saying, uh, Sam, uh, Sam here on Trader Joe. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't, yeah, on Trader, Trader Joe's Joe. does have the best selection, but unfortunately, like it's a good ways. Um, oh, <laughs> we're having flowers gifted. Oh, and you know what I'm thinking too? I mean, I suppose at times when I get flowers, like when my husband buys me flowers or something is before, I mean, you, they start to go bad, but the petals on the insides are still good. And I don't know why it never occurred to me just to save those and then you make me make some papers then using those. So yeah. No, you can. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're very welcome. It's my pleasure. I'm happy to be here and share and yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Oh, and and uh, for example, uh, someone is was saying that um, she didn't uh, use uh, many onions, onions, so they have, don't have lots of onion skins. But when you go to a grocery, the basket is full of those uh, peels, yeah. so and we, it's funny, you can it's, have. It's funny that you say that because when I was doing the 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 baths where I was soaking paper in those baths, um, I had gone to get the purple onion. And so I'm in there and I'm like, I don't want to buy a ton of purple onions, but there's a lot of skins laying around here. So I would kind of like grab up a bunch of the skins and then put on the bottom onion of the, in the bag? bag with yes. a whole bunch of the skins. <laughs> and then, Hey, they were weighing it. So the skins don't weigh much. I mean, they're going to toss those. So I was just kind of like grabbing up the skins and putting them in the envelope with the onion. Yeah. 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 Too funny. Um, but, just, yeah. it, it, it's the same with the paper. When I go to the grocery, <laughs> I'm always look for the papers because yeah. they are available and they go to the waste. So. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Um, so. All right. So we have, we've promised that this will be on YouTube. So we'll download it. And then um, I don't know the best way to get that information out, but um, will you put it on your YouTube channel and I'll put it on my channel? Yes. Okay, so everyone, yes. just if you want to watch this whole interview later, can, just and yeah, I will leave a message on the channels. Facebook yeah. group so everyone can check. <laughs> Suzanne is saying, I'm "Excited for your lesson." Oh, you said uh, that they did not charge you for the skins. That's great. That's great. I don't know. I leave, they didn't weigh much when I put them in the bag, but you so know. you were paying for peels of onions. <laughs> I should have just taken a bag of peels up there and like, I just want these. Yeah. So. <laughs> I live on the Gulf Coast of Texas and it's hot and we have a draw. So my flower growing choices are limited. Yes. 
Yeah, the droughts are bad in some of the places. So yeah, we usually get more rain here in Florida than we've gotten too. So yeah. But, yeah, I thought did you have lots of rain? Yeah, during the summer we get a lot of rain down here. Yeah, but it's been hit or miss. There's times when we get a lot for a week, and then it's like dry for a week, and it's very weird. It's been kind of weird this summer. So yeah. Yeah, the summer here in Portugal is very dry, also. Yeah. 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 Um, it's been hot everywhere. So. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, I have so loved much. this tutorial. So, okay. Yeah. So I, have tried. I was just looking. Okay. So, right. Roman Marie, thank you so much. You're uh, welcome. Thanks for having me. And we see you in two days. Yes. Inside Flowers Magic, Yay. sharing All right. sharing your flowers and watercolors. Thank you yeah. so much yep. for being with us. All right. Thank ciao, you. Ciao so from much. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Thank for you. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.